Hey, what is popping? What is popping? Traders, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, in this video, I'm going to be revealing to you the most important trading skill that you have to equip yourself if you want to become a profitable forex trader, right? So, do smash on that like button for me as more of this video continuously release more and more content for you guys. And please note that I do not sell anything in the forex trading space, I do not offer any investment packages beyond schemas that may try to take your money using my name. I just provide content for free, I try to help out as much as I can, right? And today's video sponsor is Triple AFX, one of the best brokers you could ever find out there. I'm currently using them today, so I'm recommending them to you because of the past good experience I've been having with them you can check them out by signing up using the link that is in this video's description without wasting any of your time let us head over with it right so first things first right let us say that if we, we, we just have this zone right let us say that we have what we have this zone right we've got this zone of ours right let's just divide this into three right let us just say that we've got our resistance there right and then let us just say price was moving to the upward right let us just say that price was moving to the upward using what using candlesticks right price was moving to the upward using candlesticks right as you can see there is my candlestick right there right that is my candlestick right that was supposed to throw this because since it's my first candlestick right you can see this is now my what? My bearish candlestick, right? This is now my bearish candlestick pattern. And if you can look closely, this is my bearish and gapping candlestick pattern, right? So now let us also say that price was also moving on this particular resistance, right? Let us say that also price was also approaching this particular resistance, right? Using those bullish candlesticks right there, right? And all of a sudden, what is it that we get? All of a sudden, we get something like this. All of a sudden, we get something like this. Right? All of a sudden, we get something like this, which is also a function that I think is depending, right? And also, let us say that price was also approaching your resistance in this manner. right in this man and then we've got in ourselves candlestick pattern there and then what is it that you have we have this bearish candlestick right there right if you can look clearly these are all bearish engulfing candlestick what bearish engulfing candlestick patterns right all of these these are all bearish and gapping candlestick patterns this is the first one right this is the first one this is the second one and this is the third one right so i want you to basically note i want you to basically note that the even though these are bearish and gapping candlestick patterns you must know that they are not the same that's what i want us to dive in deep with right Candlestick patterns, you might think that, okay, that is a doji, but there are some doges that have high probability in the forex market, and there are some doges that, that have low probability in the forex market, and there are some engulfing candlestick patterns that have got themselves high probability, um, um, that have basically got themselves high, uh, high success rate and stuff like that, right? And there are some engulfing candlestick patterns that have gotten themselves, themselves low, um, success rate, right? So, coming to the candlestick pattern, that has got a very, very low success rate. It is something like this, right? It is just something like this. I don't know if, if, if you can see clearly, bro, right? It is something like this, right? You can see that we've gotten ourselves a what? A bullish, right? A, 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 a bullish candlestick. And then we've gotten ourselves a what? And then we've gotten ourselves this bearish candlestick, right? And you can see that on this particular bearish and gap candlestick pattern, right? Only the weeks. Only the weeks, right? Only the weeks are doing what? Only the weeks are engulfing this bearish, this bullish candlestick, right? So this kind of candlestick, this kind of en a bearish engulfing candlestick has somehow got the lowest success rate, right? The lowest success rate. You can see that it's only the weeks that are doing what? That are basically engulfing that candlestick, right? And then 
if we can look at this candlestick pattern, right? You can see here that, that we had this bullish candlestick, right? And you can see here that we've gotten ourselves what? And you can see here that we've gotten ourselves this bearish candlestick, right? And if you can look closely, you can see that the body, the body of this bearish candlestick did what? The body of this bearish candlestick closed below this bullish candlestick. Right? The body of this bearish candlestick did what? It closed below this bullish candlestick. Right? And now coming back to our last, this is the candlestick. This is the bearish and Gaffin candlestick pattern that has got the most success rate. Why does it have the, the, the most success rate? It is because these are two candlestick patterns in one candlestick pattern. These are two candlestick patterns in one candlestick pattern. Right? If you can look closely, we've gotten ourselves a what? A bearish and Gaffin candlestick pattern. Right? And what is it that you have next? We have ourselves a bearish candlestick pattern. We have a bearish, and you can see that this bearish candlestick, right, completely engulfed this bullish candlestick, right? And also you can see that this, this is a bearish candlestick pattern. So basically that means that now that this, basically that means now that we've got also two candlestick patterns. In one candlestick pattern, we've gotten ourselves this bearish candlestick pattern, which is our torch, and then we've gotten ourselves the what? A bearish and gaping candlestick pattern. Right? So these kind of uh, kind of bearish and gaping candlestick pattern somehow has the most success rate. Right? And the reason why, and, and, and the reason why this second, I think I was supposed to do something like this too. And then three because this one has got the most success rate and the reason why this uh, and the reason why this second bearish uh, and gaping candlestick pattern has got the most success rate um than this first uh candlestick pattern it is because bro like i said the body of this bearish candlestick did what the body of this bearish candlestick closed below it did what it closed below right it closed below this bullish candlestick and I want you guys to basically take note of this, right? It is so much dangerous to trade something like this too, right? It is so much dangerous to trade this kind of bearish and gaping candlestick, right? Let's just put this back on. Why is it so much dangerous? It is so much dangerous because if, let us say that this is my edge for time frame, right? This is my edge for time frame, right? And then on the 15 minutes time frame, on the 15 minutes time frame, you can find out that price was doing what? You can find, you, you, you basically can find out that basically price was doing what? Was in a choppy, uh, in a choppy manner. Right? You can find out that price was in a choppy manner. This is my four hour time frame. Right? You can find out that price was in a choppy manner. But now on the 15 minutes time frame, what's going to happen? You can see that. The, the, uh, you, you can see that the sellers failed to do what? They failed to close price below this bullish candlestick pattern, right? They failed to close price below this bullish. They just spiked. They just spiked, right? They just spiked. They spiked using the what? They spiked using this week. And then price didn't, and then price did not. And then price went back again, right? So, you, you see this week here. You see this week here. If you can go over to your 15 minutes time frame, you might find out that this week was something like this. And then price came back again here. Right? You can see that price spiked and then price closed inside. The body closed inside of this bullish candle, right? So you can find out that there was some sort of like manipulation on the 4-hour time frame. And then they manipulated the, uh, the support, right? And then they, they, they went and then down one and then closed inside. Right? But on this case, let us just say this is my M15 time frame, right? But on this case, you can see that the body closed below this bullish candlestick. On this case, what you might just find out, you may find something like this, right? You might just find something like this. It's either you find that you, it's either you find out that they basically retested and then 
they move to the downward or you you, 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 you you just find out that they just moved to the downward but in this case let us just say that on the 15 minutes time frame they downward they retested right the reason why the body closed below this bullish candlestick it means it means that price is below what it means that price is below this choppy structure it means that it basically means now that price closed below this choppy structure right closed below this choppy structure but now you can see that price never really managed to close below this bullish candlestick pattern so you can find out that they just came down here right you can find out that these weeks were manipulation right and what and what did they do they just moved price to the upper and closed price to the upper but on this case the body closed below this bullish candlestick pattern meaning that you will not see price when you open your uh, when you open your your m15 it means that price is not inside there right but price is well but price is has really done what but price has really broken to the downward right so this is this has got the lowest 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 win rate this, this is just medium and this has the highest win rate because you've gotten yourself two candlestick patterns in one right so and now when you can basically open your m15 time frame to see let us just say that this is also our h4 time frame as this was also our h4 time frame right let us say now that you are also opening your m15 time frame to look at this candlestick pattern the one that i'm saying has got a high success rate so what you can basically find on the 15 minutes time frame on this particular candlestick pattern is that you can find something like this right is that you can find something probably like this right on the 15 minute time frame you can find probably something that is like this on this candlestick pattern right and what does this mean it means now that price was doing what it means now that price was moving in, 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 in a choppy manner right and you can see here that what basically happened is that price took out the stops from our heart from our resistance right and if price was able to manipulate our resistance it means now that it is doing what it means now that it is wanting to go to the downward right and if price is basically manipulating like this right it means now that it basically wants to go to the upper that is why i'm saying to you that this kind of candlestick pattern is risky right because after price is manipulated to the downward price can just move to the upper and hit your stop loss but on this case you can see that this is a dodge right basically what happens on a dodgy there's some sort of like manipulation that basically happens on a dodgy right and on this particular dodgy we can say that uh, we can say that price then what that price just moved to the upper to do what move to the upper and then it spiked to the upper and when it spiked to the upper price then moved to the downward and ended and ended up closing somewhere there and this spike on the 15 minute time frame you, 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 if you can open the 15 minute time frame you can find out that it is a double top or it is just one spike right or it is a double top right basically this is now giving you the direction that okay i've already manipulated the resistance and if i've manipulated the resistance it means now that i'm basically wanting to do what i'm basically wanting to move to the downward right so that's it for this video guys hope you did find value if you did do smash on that like button see you in the next one cool cool